Hi, and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your computer keyboard as a stand-in MIDI keyboard so that it works a little bit like having a keyboard. So if you're stuck on your laptop and you don't have anything to play, you can get notes in with this. This technique is no different than it was with Traction probably 10 years ago. It's easy, but there's a couple little tricks to it to get it to work right. So I've gone ahead and put in a subtractive, which is a synthesizer, and I have that set to a sound. If I play it through my normal keyboard, I can get some sound through it. So that's all working, but I wanna replace this with a virtual keyboard, and we set that up in settings. So I click on the settings tab. I'm gonna to go to the MIDI devices, and then right here on this list in the controls area, you see there's create new virtual MIDI input. I'm gonna click that, and I think I'll, some people call this musical typing. I'm gonna call it a QWERTY piano. And that's the whole setup on this side of it. Now back over here, we assign that as our input. So we'll just click on here, right click on here, and choose this QWERTY piano as the input. Now we need to be able to see it and you see it in the controls panel. And the way to do that is to expand to the traditional controls panel from the compact toolbar by clicking this arrow right here, and that opens this up. Now to use this, you'll notice that if we select any other object, like our subtractive synth, or pretty much a track, or anything else, that we lose that keyboard. So I wanna click on that keyboard and then click this little lock and that makes it stick. The other thing is that the keyboard will not have focus. Your computer keyboard will not have focus to play letters and things as notes until you play a note on here. So we need to click on this keyboard. Once I've clicked on it, now starting with the letter A, I can play that entire row as white keys on the keyboard. A, S, D, F, all the way up to semicolon. Yeah, up to semicolon. And then we've got black notes on W, E, also on, on T, Y, and U, like that. Now, if you're gonna record using this, you need to remember to go down and click on one of these keys before you start playing the notes. You need to use the mouse, point at a key, and click on any key to get the thing started. Otherwise, it will take the focus off of, of it and it won't work. So I'm gonna start by clicking here. And then I'm going to click record I'm going to click a key and then I can play my notes on this keyboard. So that was clearly not a particularly inspired performance, but it did actually work. If we look and expand this out to the MIDI editor view, you can see that I've got my notes in there. It's good enough to get some basic notes to build a melody, a bass line, or program in some drums. If you're in a pinch, you don't have any external controller. Then when you're finished with the QWERTY piano, you can just unlock it here. If you don't, then the controls panel will not follow your selections. So when you're finished, unlock it, and then you'll see it starts to follow. You can also close back to the compact toolbar if you like. So that's how you set up a virtual MIDI input in waveform. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video very soon.